Today, Apple has officially released its next iteration of iOS, which is iOS 12. And in this video, we're gonna go over some of the key features that users can expect to see in the latest version of iOS. With iOS 12, Apple really focused on improving performance and reliability, as well as help make iOS 12 fast and efficient across all devices, including older iPhones and iPads. This would include faster and smoother animations and improving all around responsiveness of the OS. This makes performing everyday tasks like accessing Control Center, multitasking, scrolling throughout apps a lot smoother. Apple has also said that its deepest focus in iOS 12 was optimizing the system when under load and has said that apps can launch up to two times faster while under load and the same applies for the share sheet. Apple also took digital health very seriously this year, and to help with that, they introduced screen time as well as some other various ways to help limit distractions. Screen time is a new section inserted right into the settings app and can give you a rundown of how much time you're spending on your iOS device. You'll have access to data from various categories like app usage, how often you pick up your iPhone, how many notifications that you might receive in an hour, and which app might be sending you the most notifications, websites visited, etc. You'll also have the ability to schedule downtime away from your device, set app limits, choose which apps are always allowed, and control various content and privacy restrictions. Notifications also received a hefty update, both visually and in functionality. In the past, notifications could pile up and form a massive scrolling list of duplicated notifications from the same or multiple apps iOS 12 introduces group notifications, a highly desired feature that cleans up the lock screen by grouping incoming notifications by app, topic, and more with the ability to tap on a notification group to see individual notifications. Managing notifications has also never been easier with the ability to dive right into an app's notification settings right from your lock screen or notifications panel. Now Siri also received a pretty substantial update in iOS 12 with a new shortcuts feature designed to let you create custom automations using either a first or third party application that can be activated by using a custom Siri voice command. There's actually an entire application dedicated for Siri shortcuts called Shortcuts, which Apple is releasing alongside iOS 12. Now alongside shortcuts, you have new Siri suggestions, which will suggest shortcuts on either the lock screen or in search. Siri can also help you search for photos by time, location, people, topic, or recent trips to find relevant photos or memories. For devices with the True Depth camera system, iOS 12 brings new Animoji features like tongue detection and improved facial tracking. Tongue detection is exactly what you might think it is. An Animoji can now stick out its tongue and there's also the ability to wink too. iOS 12 also makes Animoji a bit more personal with the introduction of Memoji. With Memoji, you can make a personalized Animoji in the Messages app that looks just like you using a deep set of customization options. You can choose skin color, hair color, hairstyle, eye color, eyebrows, nose features like freckles, and facial hair, accessories, and more. There's no limit on the number of Memoji that you're able to create, so you can add multiples for every look that you want to express. As mentioned earlier, Memoji and Animoji can be used in both Messages and in FaceTime in iOS 12. Speaking of the Messages app, iOS 12 offers a new effects camera that lets you add fun effects to the photos using the camera built into Messages. You can add filters, shapes, text, stickers, and even apply an Animoji on your Memoji over your own face in the camera. FaceTime even received a hefty update with the introduction of a major new feature, Group FaceTime. Now, Apple originally planned to introduce Group FaceTime support in iOS 12, but the feature was removed during the beta testing period. It will be introduced later on this fall in a future iOS 12 update. Group FaceTime supports audio and video chats with up to 32 different people at one time. And with Group FaceTime, all of the participants are visible in a tiled view and with the tile size changing to give attention to the person speaking at the moment. You can also use focus view to double tap on the person that you want to see. FaceTime also includes the same effects camera that's been introduced in messages, letting you access Animoji and Memojis, filters, stickers, and more while you're FaceTiming with somebody. Finally, Apple also introduced ARKit 2.0, which gives users new capabilities like shared experiences, where two people can see the same AR environment on separate devices, and also introduces persistence, which allows AR experiences to be saved across multiple sessions. Apple also created a new app called Measure, which uses AR functionality to help measure objects or spaces. iOS 12 is compatible with all iOS devices that are able to run iOS 11. 
This would include the iPhone 5S and newer, the iPad mini 2 and newer, iPad Air and newer, and the sixth generation iPod Touch. So let us know your thoughts on the latest version of iOS in the comment section, as well as be sure to check out our prior coverage of iOS 12 with all the links in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.